Gentlemen, today we do the first Alliance U.S. Transmog Comp in a while. Every single one of you that gets invited here is not just representing yourself, but the country. Now, I hope that just whenever the Russians send a dog into space and it caused the U.S. to go to the moon, that these European transmogs will teach you all that the standards are higher. What you guys were doing before was not good enough. No bullshit, good sets. Let's go. Dude! You know who that guy is? Oh my god, dude. Oh no. Okay, listen up. Every single one of you has been brought in here and has been invited into this competition for the chance to be the winner. And today will be the first opportunity for you, the stream, to decide who in my top five will get the artwork drawn of their character. Let's see what we've got. You are weak. I don't know what the hell that was. Yep. Get off. Yo, this is really, really good. Oh my god. I really like this a lot. Holy shit. What do you guys think about this? I, I love it. Okay, so... Bro, this is the last samurai, man. This is some fucking last samurai set. Belt doesn't match. The belt is a little bit weird, okay? So their shoulders and the gloves are obviously from the combatant set that comes from the Primal Gladiator set, the first tier of uh, Wards of Draenor for PvP. That sword right there is, I believe, the Balance of Power or something. I forgot which sword specifically, not Balance of Power. That one is completing your class order hall quest line, I believe, for uh, that, that version of Ashbringer. And then the helmet there is the, uh, what do you call it, the Cruel Gladiator's helmet that drops from uh, Legion as well. And then the belt there comes from the Shadowlands pre-ordered expansion thing, and so do the legs and the boots. So I really like this a lot. I like it the most because of the fucking, uh, the shirt. Like the open deep V shirt, that's the best part about it. What do you guys think about it? It's a cosplay of Tarek from League of Legends. Well, regardless, I think the set looks fucking amazing. What do you guys think about it? I really like this a lot. He looks like gay. He doesn't look like gay, okay? Gay doesn't look like anything. Like, here's the thing, man. I genuinely think that's a good set. I'm not joking or fucking around or anything. I actually think that it's really good. I know some people might disagree. Some people might disagree. But you know what? You're fucking wrong. Because this set is amazing and it's really, really nice. Okay? It's great. I just like the, uh, I like the chest piece. I like how the belt matches the hilt of the sword. So much about it looks really good. Let's go to the next one. No, Zoe, get the fucking line. Rival Chroma from the guild Tales of the Past. Shoulders right there, obviously. Tusk of Manoroth helmet right there. The Bloodwake helmet that drops from the island expeditions. That sword right there is a tyrannical, not tyrannical, excuse me. Um, the, uh, it, it's the sword that you get from fucking, uh, from Nazjatar. And it can also come from PUP. It's a corrupted aspirant sword or something like that. One of the aspirant swords. And, uh, let's see. The glove, sinister aspirant sword, I believe. And, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, the rest of the pieces are just random ass items, right? The boots, the belt, the gloves. It's like, these are like just legion pieces of gear. I don't know, guys. I think this kind of sucks. Looks pretty simple. Mardavas's Laboratory? No, it's not from Mardavas's Laboratory. Uh, that sword is a slightly different coloration, and it's also extremely rare, so he probably doesn't have it. That's a notorious Aspirant's great sword, just like I said. Uh, I said Fearless, actually, or Sinister, or whatever, but yeah, it's the Aspirant's great sword. Um, regardless, but, uh, I think this set does look really, really good. Um, check pet. I swear to God, this is a stupid pet name. Bald Mongold. Chroma's Companion. Bald Mongold. Is this what you do? Is this, is this the best that America has to offer? Is this it? Right here? Bald Mongol? Gentlemen, yes, this is it. Yeah, well, we went to a moon a long time ago. All right, let's look at the next one. 
Duelist Canine. So the helmet right there is the, I believe, uh, vicious or ruthless gladiator's helmet. Maybe I could be wrong about it. Let me see. Ruthless. Yeah. Ruthless gladiator's helmet. That's what I thought. As well as the belt and the shoulders too. The tabard of the nightborn, the sword, obviously. Scythe, excuse me, is the Scythe you know, Maker, uh, which is the uh, mythic version that has the Void Edge enchant on it. And uh, all the rest of the pieces are basically just all, wait. There were 600 people that wanted to be in this. And over 500 of them just got cucked by somebody that's wearing a full set. You have two on-use trinkets. You have the Mythic Plus 15 remote guidance device. And you're still a duelist. How does that feel? Look at that. You have that ring right there. You're still a duelist. This is embarrassing. I don't want to ever see this again, Kane. The only time I want to see you is whenever I fight you in arena and I get free points. Better luck next time. Zatotar from the Guild Bread. What the fuck is this? Can you get this guy? Can you get this? Like, what is this, man? This looks like Yoshi from Super Mario 64. Get him the fuck out of here. Get Yoshi out of here. Okay, there. We're good. So, listen. Uh, obviously, this... Guys, listen. Respect the other... Uh, respect the other uh, contestants unless they don't deserve to be respected. Tabard of Gilneas, that ta that cloak right there is the uh, Mists of Pandaria legendary cloak, as you guys can see, because it has the blue imprint on it. The sword, obviously, or polearm is uh, Thunderstrike, or not Thunderstrike, excuse me. It's the uh, Survival Hunter polearm. And then all the rest of the pieces are all, wait, are these all from the same full set too? No, okay, they're not. All right, not a set. All right, what do you guys think about this one? I, I think this one's actually pretty good. This one, it's not amazing, okay? Like, I'm not saying that it's amazing. But I do think that it's good. What do you guys think? Looks nice. I like it. Uh, best one so far, but that's not saying much. No, it's not. No, it is not. Good so far? Yeah, it's pretty good. This is a decent looking set. Zato. This is one of the better ones that we've seen. I'll be honest, man. Whenever I saw this first transmog right over here, I was very impressed. I thought, oh my god. These actually, these guys are actually going to have something good. Little did I know that we'd have people like Kane. In shame, he removed his duelist title. In shame. You know what else would be better? Is if in shame you came in here with a good transmog. Okay. What a shame. Let's go to the next one. Papa. Lego my ego. Hand of a doll from the guild Afro Ninjas. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. The sword is like super low res. That sword's from like fucking, like, isn't that like elemental attune blade that drops specifically from the Silithus rares that are in, uh, that you get from summoning them in the Saurian circle? Like, that, that's super, super fucking rare. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Is it TBC? Uh, I thought Elemental Attune Blade looked the exact same. Pilfered Ethereal Blade. Pilfered Ethereal Blade. I don't know where the fuck that's from. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, either way, uh, the offhand does look pretty decent, too. I, I like that. I think that offhand comes from... Uh, 
I actually don't know where the offhand comes from. Is that Siege of Orgrimmar? No, I don't believe it is. I forgot where it is. Uh, regardless, let's look at all the rest of the pieces. The helmet right there, and then also I think that the, uh, yeah, just the helmet there, I think is the Gnome, the gnome uh, Heritage set. The shoulders there come from Dragon Soul. That's a mage set for the shoulders. And then the gloves there are the heroic version, I believe. It could be mythic version of the uh, Warlock gloves that drop in Nighthold. And then the belt there is from... Antorus? Sash of Diabolic Preparation. I don't even fucking know where that's from. Uh, regardless, what do you guys think about this one? I think it's okay. So I actually don't think it's that good. And here's why I don't think it's that good. I think you have two different themes going on. So you have like this weird, like, you know, ethereal, whimsical blade that you're using with like this twilight text offhand and your Nomergan tabard, which is kind of weird too. And then you have like the fucking, uh, the shoulders and the helmet with gears on them. It's a steampunk battle mage. A steampunk battle mage. Hmm. What do you guys think about a steampunk battle mage? I kind of like the, uh, I, I like the aesthetic. You know what? I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, a wrong weapon. I don't think it's really the wrong weapon. I think this guy came in here with a pretty decent looking set and I like it. it it's not that bad. You have to explain, then it's not that good. If you have to explain it, then it's not that good. No, no. I mean, like, I don't think it's a problem explaining your set. Uh, it's okay, not bad. You know what, for a steam, I just, I feel like the worst part about this is the offhand. I think the offhand doesn't really make sense with any sort of different, uh, any sort of different set. I think get a better offhand, like an actual mechanical offhand, or like something like your sword, and it would look a lot better. The offhand is the problem, I believe. Assistant Professor Glimzig. Shoulders right there from uh, Mythic and Taurus for DK. So the helmet there, which is one of the uh, engineering helmets. The belt there, uh, what is that belt? The belt there is from uh, uh, B-Sword Darmac in Mythic Hellfire, sorry, Blackrock Foundry. The boots there come from uh, Mythic and Taurus as well. They drop from the first boss. And then the legs there are just random green items. And the gloves are from Warlords of Drainer, I believe. The tabard is a, um, that's a TCG tabard. And what's the weapon here? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Ooh, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't know, guys. 8 out of 10? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't know if it's 8 out of 10. Gnomish Engineer at your service. You know what? For an NA transmog, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is this is pretty good for an NA transmog. Uh, I'm not like super excited about it or anything, but I do think that the uh, the offset weapons I think do look decent. Okay, EU transmog champions. No, no, no. We've only gone through like seven people. Okay, guys, we've got a long way to go, and there's a good chance that some of these people are going to be able to come in here and actually have a good set. Glimzig did his best, he tried his hardest, but obviously it just wasn't good enough. Okay? This is decent, but I don't think that it's going to be a winner, personally. I think the gloves are really low res, and uh, I don't know about the offhand there. I guess some people like it, but it's not my thing, okay? Uh, the weapons match his eyes. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, this is an amazing set. I, I did not even see that. The weapons match his fucking eyes, dude. Look at the, the fucking the left eye. The left eye is spinning, and then the right eye is not. Okay, that's, yes. You're totally right. I didn't even notice that. That's really fucking good, guys. Nice fucking job. That is actually fucking cool. Khaleesi of the Depths. Khaleesi of the Depths. Wow. Wow. You're just as disappointing as Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. Your helmet looks like it was copy-pasted on with no blending in Photoshop. That's the problem. This set is problematic because of your helmet. Everything else about the set is actually really cool and interesting. Your weapon there that comes from Ashara, your belt there that's one of the benthic belts, all of these pieces come together and they look really good, but using your tier 11 helmet there for priests does not match at all. You have to change your helmet and you're going to be looking good. 
He looks like he's got a fucking blueberry on his head. This guy looks like a dipshit. I hate looking at this garbage. And can I change it? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you're not going to get raided based off of the change, but you can change it right now. Go ahead. Let's go. This better be good. This had better be fucking good, guys. I'm going to be upset if it's not. He, my man, already knows what to do. Listen, if it's a, if it's somebody watching my stream, it's a dude, okay? It's a dude. Uh, a seven Kang Synchmers to three gifted subs. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I have many, many wares. Uh, I guess that looks better. I don't like the moon on it, but I think this is definitely an improvement. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. I, I don't like the belt, though. The belt might be a little bit weird. But overall, this is actually a really, really nice set. Come in here next time with something like this, and you might actually get a win. Uh, or not a win, but a placing. This looks pretty good. Um, Fahrenheit, Azeroth's champ. Champion. Oh god, how the fuck does everybody have this and not me, man? Oh wait, I know how that happens. It's because I spend all day doing these competitions, and I never actually do anything. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so this is what we like to call Basic Bitch Mage Transmog number 13. Now this specifically, this you variant- You betray your friends. All right. Shoulders right there. Tier 5 shoulders. The belt and the leggings there and the boots, I think, are okay. This reminds me... This reminds me of a transmog that a PvPer would wear that has way too big of an ego for living at his mom's house. I've seen so many PvPers. I think the weapon matches really well with your shoulders, though, by the way. Uh, this is a PvPer transmog that has a massive fucking ego. Like, this guy thinks that he's basically... Like, he's, he's in the NBA of PvP, all right? Uh, yeah, this is way too fucking big. I know so many PvPers, and like, these people, somebody who wears this trans mug doesn't say the last syllable in, la in words, okay? Big true? Yeah, absolutely. This is a very unforged trans mug, okay? Very, very unforged, man. I'm sorry to say, but, uh, I don't know if this one's really gonna have a winner, but, uh, or really gonna be a winner, but I think the main reason is because, you know, it's, uh, uh too much of... It's not your fault. It's everybody else's. Okay, uh, Dimon Talks, Thanks for the five good subs, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, he is a guild mate. Uh, he's a guild mate. I know. All right, what's this here? Bromford, Light of Dawn. Bromford, what were you thinking whenever you came in with this set before? Bromford, what were you thinking? Felt cute. Might crusade later. Have you thought about being original later, too? So you've got the class order hall gloves and uh, belt and boots right there. The belt, or sorry, the uh, the leggings there and the shoulders there from the Mythic Emerald Nightmare set, as well as, I think, the chest piece from the class order hall set with the tabard from the Scarlet Crusade, the helmet the helmet there from Normal Mode Siege of Orgrimmar for Paladins, and the weapon there, which is the Illustrious Daybreak Greatsword that drops from a specific achievement. I think it's called Commander of Argus inside of Argus that it got added in 7.3. So... This set is basic as fuck. This is a basic, boring bitch. Like, I I'm so sick of these stupid ass sets. Proving. Listen, guys, I am fucking ashamed right now. I should be sitting here and being happy that I have such great transmogs and I have such pride in, in my country, okay? This is like me whenever I see the goddamn riots down, down in the fucking capital because, like, people are fucking going crazy. That's the same way this shit makes me- this is ridiculous. Like, please, have some pride. Have some fucking pride, and make a good set, and make America look good. Make America look good. Please. This is embarrassing. Let's go to the next one. Oh my god.
tyrannical gladiator's helmet and shoulders. What are you supposed to be, scuffed Savix? This is embarrassing. With your malevolent gladiator's belt? Oh, what is that? What, what is this here? Is this the balance of power? No. Okay, this is the off end. No? Well, guess what? You are. And uh, so that uh, that weapon right there is the uh, I, this is the two-handed axe that drops from Battle of the Czar War. It has multiple drop multiple drop locations. Uh, the gloves and the boots right there are both from the uh, that's the laystone set that drops in. Actually, is that the laystone set? Let me go ahead and double check. That could actually be the aspirants. Yeah, it's the laystone set, which is a blacksmithing item that you're able to get inside of uh, inside of Legion. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Octavius. I know you've fallen on hard times ever since you lost all your money. At least I try to make a transmog, not like you. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I mean, okay, so yeah, that is true. Okay, listen. This set is not that good. Oh, Asmongold has the worst transmog? No, I do not. This is the best transmog. You're completely wrong about that. This set right here, I would say... If I had to rate this set 1 out of 10, I would rate it a 3. You tried to do something interesting. I really like your helmet and shoulders. But the fact that it's such very... It's like very, very finely crafted ornate armor. And then you combine that with the bullshit like your leggings and your belt. And it just doesn't look good together. You can do something better than this, Octavius. And I really like your helmet and shoulders combo. Come in here with something better and it'll be okay. This is actually good. That's a Void Core Great Staff that drops from Hellfire Citadel. The helmet right there is the, uh, what helmet is this? Is that the Firelands helmet for mages? Hydraxia, I don't even know where that's from. I forgot where that set's from. Uh, it's been so long. Yeah, is that Firelands? Yeah, I never see this helmet. Uh, that's really, really good. And then also the, uh, the shoulders and the belt here. Where is this? This isn't Grievous Gladiator, is it? No, Giant Pumpers? What the fuck? And then the belt here, Girdle of the Infected Mind. I actually think this looks good. This is a good-looking set. A nice fucking set. It's an island set? Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Oh, it's an off-color. It's an offset recolor with the island set. Okay, I understand it now. All right, listen, Thydra. This is a good looking set. I like it. Now, obviously, I don't really know if it's gonna be a winner. I think your helmet and shoulders combo is fucking amazing. And, uh, oh shit. <laughs> I made it even bigger. Okay, all right. The helmet and shoulders combo is even, be is even better. I don't know about the whole set. What do you guys think about this one, guys? Artwork for that set? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, what do you guys think? Is it good or not? 8 out of 10? I think this is a solid 8 out of 10. This is a really, really good looking set. I, I like the colors throughout the entire thing, and I'm really glad that we actually see a good set here, okay? Let's go ahead and go to the next one. No way. Corrupted fucking Ashbringer? Oh my god. So all the rest of the pieces except for his helmet and shoulders are obviously from Naxxramas Tin Man. The shoulders are a tier 3 shoulders for warriors. And the helmet right there is the, uh, uh, since it's a blue top of the helmet, that means it's the, uh, uh, vin no, Vengeful Gladiator's, uh, helmet. Uh, which came out in Burning Crusade Season 3. Uh, I mean, this is really close to a full set, man. I mean, this is pretty much a full set minus two pieces. And I don't really feel like they fit together that well. What do you guys think? I, I feel like, it, especially with, like, Corrupted Ashbringer, they're all different. They're all different. Not Max stuff. Serenite Warplate. Engraved Serenite Leggings. Greaves of the Slaughter. The Plaguebringer's Girdle. Bloodblains Gauntlets of Command. Here's why that doesn't matter. Because this is technically the Naxxramas 10-man set for, for plate DPS. So inside of Naxxramas, do you want me to... I'm going to do this. This is what you get. So inside of Naxxramas, there are three different plate sets that exist. Or sorry, uh, is it three? I guess it must be two. What is this here? What are we doing here? Chick-fil-A. 
I thought you're supposed to be closed. Okay. Anyway. So, all these pieces are from Nax Ramos. Uh, these are all obviously from Nax Ramos, and, um... Obviously, it doesn't matter if they're not specifically, that item itself is not specifically from Nax Ramos. Like, for example, that chess piece drops some Tin Man Noth in, uh, in Nax. Even though it doesn't share, even though it's not the same name, it shares the same appearance. So this is the Nax Ramos set, even if it's not. Uh, and the, uh, the caster set is a little bit different, too. It's a little bit more uh, orange. Uh, sorry, uh, healing set. So what do you guys think? I mean, obviously this guy comes in here, and he's got fucking, he's got corrupted Ashbringer. I feel so bad about shitting on this guy if, but like, you have Corrupted Ashbringer and you're gonna come in here looking like this? I think this is mediocre, dude. For having Corrupted Ashbringer, we should have expected a lot better out of you, man. Uh, I want to see something, give me some tips on what's set for it. Something that's not this. That's not my job, that's your job. Better luck next time, Fortress. Oh. Vanessa Van Cleef. I don't spend a lot of time transmogging. Maybe you should. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? So we've got the Vanessa Van Cleef transmog. You know what I think is kind of funny in the uh, in Wild WoW War, is that Vanessa Van Cleef and also uh, Inquisitor White Mane are the two like the two characters that everybody does craigasms for, and both of them are underage in the lore. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? They're both, I, it, isn't that convenient? Yeah, what the hell, dude? Okay, let's see here. Um, so the shoulders are obviously the uh, shoulders. I think that's the tier six shoulders. It could be the Tomb of Sargeras shoulders, helmet, the Defias mask, the tabard, tabard of flame. And then what are the weapons here? Oh, Perdition's Blade. So this is a set that we've already seen before. I I'm not, uh, isn't she a fiction character? This characters are ageless. Yeah, okay, dude. Um, anyway, um, I don't know, guys. Like, this is the same... It, it's an NPC set. And an NPC set isn't impressive to me. Like, we see NPC sets all the time, man. Like, it, it, it's... It's fucking ridiculous. Characters are not ages. Like, listen, I don't know. Hold up. Let me change. Okay, all right. Let's see it. That's better than what you had. It's definitely better than what you had. Listen, guys, you can't just say winner every single time that one of the female characters shows their thighs. Like, that. That's this is why I'm the judge and you're not, okay? So just keep that in mind. Yeah, you guys can't do that. The hell's wrong with you? Yes, we can. No, you can't. All right, listen. Sparky, this looks pretty decent, but uh, listen, y'all, get the fuck out of here. All right. Sparky, this is pretty decent, but it wasn't your first one. You can't come in here dressed up like an NPC and think you're going to get a win, dude. I'm sorry to say. you got to try a lot harder than that. Inquisitor Crit Rate from the Guild Disaster Voyeurism. Uh, I mean, this is like an Anduin Ren transmog. You got the Stormwind Guards chess piece on, the Tabard of the 7th Legion, the sword there from the movie uh, promotional event. This, uh, what is that? Wait, oh, he is actually, he's a mage. Wait, this guy's a fucking mage. And it looks like he's wearing plate armor. Actually, you know what? This is pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, this, he, he's a fucking mage and he's dressed like this. This is awesome. Boots don't fucking match. Well, the boots are the Storm on Guards boots, I believe. And uh, let's see, the belt and also the cloak there, or sorry, the shoulders there. I think that's a Seventh Legion set. And then the gloves there are, I believe, from Antorus. But I'm not entirely sure. It could actually be the PvP offset version of the Antorus gloves. Yeah, Cruel Gladiator's gloves, which is actually the uh, Tomb of Sargeras. So that's close, though. And uh, I don't know. I feel like the book is super low res, man. It's like this guy's carrying around his, his copy of Harry Potter from, like, the time he was in third grade. 
and uh, he's still trying to cast fucking spells out of it. Uh, listen, I don't think it's that great, man. I think it could be uh, a little bit better. The offhand could be better, but everything besides the offhand, I actually like a lot. I like the idea of this being a, a, a battle mage. Yeah, this is like kind of a battle mage in a way. You guys agree? Garen from League? Listen, I don't give a fuck about League characters. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, this is... It's not... It's not that great, man. Okay, sucks dog dicks. I don't know if this set, if this set sucks dog dicks, okay? Like, if something sets do sucks dog dicks, that's a very, very high bar. I think that you, you guys... There's a very high bar for sucking dog dicks, you and I think... will die. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, this is, uh, it could be better, but I think it's good. Good job, Kurt Ray. Ascrust, Servant of Inzoth. Ascrust? Oh yeah, it is Ascrust, you're right, I didn't even see that. Uh, what do you guys think? Right in, Pog? I, I, I think it's okay. So chess piece there, isn't that the the warmongering gladiator's chess piece? I don't even know. I always see it, but I don't know. Spinebreaker harness, and then cord of pilfered rosaries. I don't know what the fuck this is. Actually, Tibu scorching straight sword. Let's see the swords here. Ah. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. That does look really cool. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I kind of like it, man. The backpack... I think the backpack is stupid. It's like this is a guy... It's like he's a ninja by night, and he's taking community college classes... Uh, or Sorry, ninja by day, and he's taking community college classes at night to get a better education. Like, that's just the way it feels like to me. And uh, I'm not really sure if this is... Uh, if this is going to make a whole lot of sense. Looks stupid, though. Yeah, I, I mean, kind of a pain to draw. Yeah, whatever. It's a traveling samurai look. A, a traveling samurai? Samurais don't use backpacks like this. They use, like, sacks or something like that, man. And, and samurais, they're fucking, like... No, man, like, they don't... No, they don't even have... Can samurais... I, I don't even fucking think that's a thing. I don't even know if samurais can even own property or, like, any sort of thing. Like, I think samurais just invest all of their time into, like, being good at being a samurai. And they don't burden themselves with physical possessions. But, okay, whatever. Uh, regardless, Ass Crust. This is a decent-looking set, although I don't think that it's particularly amazing. Uh, they can do that? Well, I don't know. That's a Ronin? Okay, well, I, I don't know. Um, regardless, Ass Crust, this is decent. It's been a while. It's been, I think, one year and about six months since you came in here with this exact same transmog. You've used this one before. I remember. It's been about a year and a half or so since you've used this one. I have? Yes. Yes, you have. I remember it very clearly. The shoulders and the helmet combination was very good. Now, it's been so long that I'm the only person that remembers that. And thus, I will allow you to compete with it again. That was a different person? No, it was not. Because Dacker Cray has a number of very good transmogs. I remember him putting this one on and thinking to myself, wow, he just can't be beat. So that right there is obviously, I think, Fellow Malorn. I think it's one of the different artifact appearances. I don't know which one specifically. Yeah, it is. And then the helmet there is the uh, Mythic... Uh, what is that? Uh, mythic... Uh, Throne of Thunder Mage set. And then the shoulders here, is that... I think this is from uh, Siege of Orgrimmar? Shoulder pads of Dudu Chong. Dudu Chong. Shoulder pads of Dudu Chong. Second boss, Siege of Orgrimmar.
Oh. Where is... Doo Doo Chong. Gloves right there are from the Nighthold Warlock set. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this set? Do you guys like it or not? What do you think? I think this is actually very good. How do you know these things? I don't know them. I just don't forget them. I think this is a really, really nice looking set, Dr. Cray. I really do. And I will allow you. So you competed specifically, you used the helmet and shoulder combo, but you did not use the weapon. So because you didn't use the weapon, I will allow you to compete with this one again. Oh, great. Okay, never mind. Uh, Arc Druid uh, Gilgamesh uh, in the guild Forged by Fire. You know what I mean? Is that kind of, uh, that's that's how I feel about it? You know what I mean? Like it's not that great, but it's also not awful. So the tabard is the Guardians of Hydral Tabard. The shoulders and the helmet there from the ZA offset gear. Uh, the weapons there are the uh, fucking fangs of Shalomane or the fuck they are for uh, for feral druids. Yep, of course, yep. Everybody knows yep. And uh, then the belt there is one of the... Uh, that's the new belt from Keltiris. It's one of the offset leather belts. And uh, the boots there come from Legion. That's one of the... Uh, I think it's just an offset green item or blue item. It's nothing particularly special. Actually, no, those boots are offset... Emerald Nightmare Boots for leather, aren't they? Stained Maggot Squishers. Uh... I don't know where that drops from. My best guess is Elrith Renferl. But I don't know. Nathendria? Oh, shit. Okay, it's Nathendria. Never mind, I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, all right, all right. I got it. So what's this here? What's... I had to take a piss, guys. I'll put it back. Hey, you guys better get off the screen before I... Before I whip your asses like a Novigrad whore. I wasn't here. I was not here. Okay, just yep. Just yep. I wasn't here. I wasn't... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Could the moment I walk away, you guys do this shit? Get the fuck out of the screen. All right, did you wash your hands? No, I've got a clean dick. All right, okay, Galganeer, this is just an average looking set. I don't find it particularly impressive or amazing. I consider it boring for the most part, and it could be much better. The belt doesn't fit at all. Minions, followers, children of the world breaker, I call to you now. The hallowed halls of our father have been befouled. Kill the intruders! If I see you do anything again, Chick-fil-A, you're going to be out of the raid. Bash code to the purifier from the guild number go up. Obviously, all these pieces. Wait, what are those? What are those? Wait, what are those? Look at that. You face not Melkazar alone. What the, the fuck is wrong with you? Command. Are you kidding me, man? The helmet right there is the, uh, what is that? The, the cask of the Iron Bomber that drops in Korgath Blade Fest and Mythic Heimal. The shoulders there are the, um, heaving plates of protection that drop from, uh, Bastion of Twilight Trash, which is the offset shoulders that get, you get from, uh, Tier 11, uh, DKs. All the rest of the pieces, minus the belt and the boots there, change is bad. Well, good. You shouldn't have changed your boots because it's been a downgrade. This is awful. What are those? Those are the LFR version of the Trial of Valor boots. They're terrible. This is a terrible set. You did change your set. You were not using that belt and you were not using those gloves either or those boots either. You have changed your set and you have made it worse, Bash Cutter. You have made it worse. This cannot happen. Yes, yeah, same set every time. Never change. Unfortunately, man. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna go to the next one. Bash Cutter, this could be a lot better. Yep, cockroach. <laughs> yep, cockroach. These NA transmogs, guys. This is my country, man. 
This is what happens in my country. This has got to be better. This has got to be fucking better, guys. Lakeisha Defiler's End from the Guild Halicon Infinity. Nice to meet you, Copper. I really like this. I really like this a lot. That helmet right there, I always forget where this helmet is from. Is this from a Antorus? Ferocious Combatants. This is really, really good. I, I like this set a lot. Uh, yeah, this is an actually good transmug. Uh, the helmet looks dumb. I don't think so at all. Uh, all the rest of the pieces, the only thing that I don't like is the fact that the helmet has such a high res, and then everything else in your set has very low res. But besides that, I think it's really, really, really well put together. What do you guys think about this? Looks like a Skolomon's boss? Yeah, this looks like a new Nax Ramus boss or something like that. And uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, it's a, it's good. Yeah, I think this is a genuinely good set. Uh, I mean, like, it's not my goal is getting the shoulders to work in a mog. Well, you certainly did. Uh, I think this set looks good. It looks a lot better from a distance. You know, like, from right here, I think it looks much better. Because that way you can't tell, like, what the difference is between, like, the helmet and the shoulders in terms of the combinations. But I do really, really like these shoulders before. We had somebody use them before uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I do think it's really interesting that more people are using them as well. And uh, let's see, what shoulders were those used by? Hmm. It was a mage. The undead mage, yep. The undead mage, she stood right there. Um, what was it called? I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, yeah, I remember the exact same thing. I don't remember what it was. Slime and Crest and Mantle from Nax? Yeah, there it is. All right, anyway, regardless, Ripwall? Yes, Ripwall. There it is. And, uh, th yeah, that guy, he was... Oh, yeah, and he had a bunch of rank one titles. He had the Cruel Gladiator title. Yes. Uh, Lake Isha? This is a decent, good-looking set. I'm glad that you, you by yourself, basically here, are bringing glory to the NA. You by yourself. Thank you, Lake Keisha. Good job. But Holio. <laughs> but Holio. Okay, all right. So we've got the Dragon Riders harness, the chest piece here. I'm actually an alt of Reptilian. Well, then there we go. Reptilian is a warlock. Uh, so the, the this, what is this? This two-handed weapon here is uh, from the Warlord to Draenor Dungeons. The uh, gloves there are from Trial of Valor. Uh, the shoulders there are from Legion. I think that's the first tier of Legion. The helmet, I think, comes from... I forgot where the helmet comes from exactly. It's a male helmet, so nobody really gives a shit about it. But I think it's somewhere in Warlord to Draenor. I actually think this looks pretty good. Like, I, I, I feel kind of stupid giving a lot of positive feedback to someone named Buttholio. But it looks good. It looks really, really fucking good. Uh, I, I like it a lot, and uh, it's fucking amazing. So, uh, yeah, that, that's really pretty much it. Uh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you guys think? Imagine saying this is trash. No, I don't think it's trash. I just think it could be uh, it could be a little bit better. That's all. But overall, I think that it looks good. It looks good. No, it, it's not awful. Okay, guys, especially for an NA transmog comp, this is pretty good. Ooh. Your friends will abandon you. Okay. What do you guys think about this? That's the PvP version of the first season. Uh, that's the fucking uh, Dread, Dread Gladiator's Greatsword. Those, sh those shoulders and the gloves there are the blue version of the Vicious Gladiator gear. I think it's called Savage or something like that. Vicious Gladiator's... Oh, wait, is it still... Wait, that was Vicious? Wait, I thought Vicious was another color. Well, regardless, um, either way, that's the Vicious Gladiator shoulders and gloves. And then a chest piece there comes from Cataclysm and Five Man. So does, I think, the belt too. The leggings and the boots there come from the LFR version of Trial of Valor. And so does the helmet. And then a tabard right there is, of course, the tabard of the, uh, the fucking, like, the, the Shrine of the Storms or whatever the fuck it is in, uh, in BFA. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh... I don't know. I mean, like, this is... It's okay. Like, let me just move back a little bit, and we're going to look at it that way. Uh, what do you guys think? 
Uh, I, I like what you tried to do, okay? Like, I really like what you tried to do. I think those shoulders are really cool. I've always really liked the shoulders a lot, but I don't feel like you have a combo that really fits very well with them, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is okay, but it could be much better, all right? That's what it comes down to. Now, let's go to the next one. Dragon Slayer Elrius. Oh, didn't see you there. Aw, man! Well, at least you know he brought protection. There he is. Alright, you know what? Elrius, this is a badass looking set. The helmet right there is obviously the helmet it drops. It's a BOE helmet it drops from Flame Leviathan on 25 men. The shoulders there are the 25 man version, or sorry, normal mode version of the D Dragon Soul shoulders for warriors. All the rest of the, actually, no, just the gloves. The gloves there are from the uh, Blackrock Foundry Mythic set for warriors. The belt right there is the. Is one of the Gladiator's belts from Wrath of the Lich King? Savage Gladiator's Belt? Hateful. Fuck. Fuck. Hateful Gladiator's Belt. I got the- It's a wrong- I got the wrong belt! God damn it, man. Okay, and then the legs and the boots right there over the Black Rock set that comes from, uh, the, uh, War to Draenor, uh, the thing. Uh, the bunker. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot it, man. Elrius, what do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think of his actual transmog set? I like it a lot. Oh, and the weapons right there is the Warmongering Gladiator's Bone Grinder. Uh, and then the tabard there, of course, is the uh, fucking, uh, the tabard of the Wormrest Accord. I like it. Like, I actually really like this set a lot, and I think it's well put together. Like, this is actually a really, really good looking set. Like, if there was a Deathwing transmog, this would be it. It's really good. I like it a lot, Elrius. And he's got the Deathwing mount on there, too. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. I like it a lot. The helmet is a little bit awkward, maybe, but uh, I think it looks good. Good job, Elrius. Pet? Okay. Chick fil A. Sorry about my disturbances. Yeah, me too. Uh, I love your stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, the shoulders and a belt right there from Archimon. Obviously, the helmet there is from the, uh, what do you call it? The fucking mask things. This chess piece. What is this chess piece? It's one of the tier chess pieces for priests. Soul Queen ceremonial robes. Desolate host. Tumas Argaris. Mm. It's not... It's hard being this good, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. All right, let's move up a little bit. Let me go ahead and look at the rest of your gear, okay? Uh, move up. <coughs> Jesus, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. So we've got, obviously, the weapon right there. That's from the, uh, that's the mythic version of the Hellfire High Council sword that drops in uh, Hellfire Citadel. And uh, all the rest of the pieces are just pretty much, as I said, a decent looking set, right? Uh, what's this offhand here? Oh, that's actually a cool looking offhand. I don't even know where that's from. Uh, but regardless, I think this is actually really, really good. Uh, this is a really cool looking set. Uh, I don't know about the chess piece, though. I feel like the chess piece is problematic. The chess piece being a priest chess piece is a big issue. It's from HFC, too? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, everything about it a bit besides the chess piece I think is good. Fix the chess piece and figure out a better, uh, maybe a better helmet, too. I'm not really sure about the helmet, though. And uh, you'll actually have a good looking set. Yeah, good. This guy looks like he's ready for the Argent Tournament. You know what this guy looks like? It looks like every single Friday whenever he gets home from work, the first thing that he does is he tries to find a group for Naxxramas 10-man, and he never can. Because his gear is so shitty that nobody will play with him. And also, another reason why they won't play with him is the fact that he's playing ARMS. 
That's, that axe right there is called the Colossal Skullclad Cleaver. It drops from Loken in Halls of Lightning on Heroic. The shoulders and the gloves there are from the 25-man version, the Conqueror's Siegebreaker set from Tier 8. The helmet there is actually could be two separate items, uh, but it's also mainly a blacksmithing item. Uh, Helm of the Crestfallen Challenger. I forgot which one that one specifically is. I think that's from Trial of the Crusader, but I'm not 100% sure. The belt there comes from the Class Order Hall for Warriors. And the leggings here are from, uh, those are just random leggings from actually BFA. And so is the chest piece. And then the boots here. Are those the Furious Gladiators offset boots for Paladins? Of course they were. Let me look at his cloak. Uh, I don't really know if that makes it better or worse, man. Yeah, it's just like... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's not that great, man. I'm sorry to say. Lamros, uh, regardless, this is a... Uh, this is a pretty decent set, but the belt doesn't match. The belt's coloration is just completely different than the rest of your gear, and I just don't really like it. What do you guys think about it? Well, yeah, what do you guys think about it? It's good? Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I don't think it's good. I think it's okay. It's not good. It is okay. Let's go ahead, and we're going to look at the next one. All right, all right, you know what? This is actually pretty good. I like it. This is actually good, man. Here's why I like it. Wait, what are these leggings and, and boots? Aren't these Demon Hunter offset leggings and boots, caustic, depraved, machinist foot pads? Where the fuck are these from? I don't even know. The shoulders there come from Hellfire Citadel. The helmet is a tier five helmet for uh, rogues. The tabard is the tabard of the Nightfallen. And then the daggers are obviously the, uh, you know, the fucking, uh, the subtlety daggers. Not really a big deal. And Taurus? Yeah, I thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? I, I like this, man. Uh, I actually like it a lot. The only thing that I don't like about it is the belt. I think the belt doesn't really work very well. The belt's kind of low res. Everything else besides the belt, I think is okay, though. It's too simple. I don't think it's too simple. Check this out. All right, what do you want me to check out? I made my bracers transform my mog. Found gloves that go under my shirt. Yo! Yo! That's actually crazy. Bracers that go over it. Okay. Okay, that is fucking impressive. I like this a lot. Nice fucking job, Riptech. Nice fucking job, dude. No wife, no life. Hey, same. So what do we got here? So that belt right there comes from Burning Crusade five-man dungeons. Okay, so anyway, uh, so the shoulders right there are the might shoulders, obviously, the offset might shoulders that come from the heirloom. The helmet right there is the, uh, that's the hair, that's the helmet from the fire festival, I believe. And then the leggings, the, the boots, and also the uh, chest piece there are all vanilla WoW BOE set. And uh, the belt is from, I think, uh, specifically Underbog, but it doesn't really matter. It's a five-man offset belt. And uh, the tabard is, of course, one of the TCG tabards. And the sword there is the Ashbringer uh, appearance there. This looks classic as fuck. I actually like this. What do you guys think about it? Uh, what do you guys think? That's a holy light? Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Let me go ahead and go back. Um, no, I said Fire Festival, not Fire Fest, okay? Wait, it was Fire Fest. Oh, it was. Yeah, shit. Fuck. All right, all right. Well, whatever. Um, I think this is actually a really, really nice looking set. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think it comes together very well. And uh, the helmet there, I think, looks really good and it accents your weapon very well. And uh, just overall, I think this is a nice looking set. Now, it is low res, but 
I don't think that's necessarily bad because everything that's low res is all together and the weapon is kind of separate from it. So I think that it looks good. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Check her cloak. She doesn't have a cloak on. All right. Good job. No life. No life. Good job. I like this a lot. Twenty-four hours of game time on US. I'm sorry guys, but I don't think this one's gonna be a winner. This is what I've seen many times before. This is the traditional rogue set. Now it's obviously very uh very edgy, and we love edgy sets, okay? But the problem is that sometimes edgy sets fall off. And this set, I believe, has fallen off. The only good part about this set is the fact that the helmet and the, the red eye glow matches your weapons. That is the best part about your set, and it looks really, really badass. But besides that, everything else is dog shit. You want me to look at your pad, don't you? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Can you explain to me why it says it's you and that's what it- Like, what the fuck does that mean? What are you doing turning around? The hell's wrong with you? Have you brought all of your spurginess over to the NA? Okay, you know what? We're going over to the next one. This is absolutely fucking disgusting. I thought he was going to sit on it. Yeah, I thought he was too. Uh, after he turned around, I thought he was going to do it. Okay, regardless, Von Kwan, uh, nice set, I guess, but uh, now you can't do it now. What a metaphor for your transmog. What a metaphor for your transmog. Wow, I can't believe it. Is there anything more accurate than that? <laughs> Swing and a miss, boys. Uh, so the helmet right there, let's see, this is the warrior helmet, so that means it's either the crown of desolation, actually no, it's the, uh, the Molten Core anniversary helmet. All the rest of the pieces, so the Scarlet set minus the chest piece there, or sorry, the shoulders there, which has come from a BOE item in a Vanilla WoW, and then the swords there are the Ravagers, actually, is this Ravager? I don't think it is Ravager, which axe is this? Uh, the Gleaming Ravager, okay, so it's Ravager. So, I like this a lot. But the fact is that this is a full set, basically. Like, isn't this a Scarlet Gloves, too? Yeah, this is a full Scarlet set. Uh, actually, no, the, ch the, uh, the, uh, the chess piece isn't. Yeah, it's a different chess piece. What do Your you guys... Courage will fail. What do you guys think about this? I think it looks pretty good. I, I, I do think that it looks pretty good. I'm not saying it looks amazing, but it looks pretty good. Uh, you can't even see the chest? Well, you can see the bottom of it. Uh, I think that's okay. Uh, well, it's good, but basic. I want to get the AQ shoulders instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say that would be better. Uh, regardless, so I think this is actually a good-looking set. I know some people in chat disagree, but a lot of people in chat disagree with everything, so don't worry about that. This is a good-looking tr classic WoW transmog, okay? I like it. Good job. Jibu, good job. Warthermar, the Astral Walker, from the guild, bring out your dead. Do you know what this is, guys? This is two sets. Excuse me, three sets. His chest piece there, based off of the, uh... The, the three jewels under his neck. That means it's the chest piece that drops off of the first boss in Antorus, Mythic, uh, the, which is the offset for uh, the DK set. The shoulders and then also the leggings there drop from Mythic Tomb of Sargeras. All of the rest of the pieces are from the Cruel Gladiator set. And then he has his belt not showing with Shadowmorn. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like this is like kind of boring to me. I feel like this set's boring. What do you guys think? He looks like going, yeah, it's, it's kind of boring. Uh, femboy? He's not a femboy, it's just boring, that's all. 
I don't know, guys. I've seen a lot of these before, so whenever I see one like this now, uh, I'm not particularly impressed by it or amazed or anything. It's just the same shit that we've seen a hundred different times, and I don't know if it's really what's going to happen. He was born after as a Karen. He was not born a Karen, okay? This guy has a decent-looking set. It's just that it's not original enough for me to take seriously. But I do think that it's okay. This is an okay-looking set. Uh, it's better than many of the other sets that people use with Shadowmorn, okay? Smite up the faceless one from the guild Gnome Land Security. You know, I kind of like this. I I'll be honest, I actually kind of like this. This is cool. So the shoulders there are the, uh, let's see, the shoulders are... Uh, that's, I think, from Lord to Draenor, and so are the gloves, and the boots are from Lord to Draenor as well. The leggings there, the leggings are the most interesting part, and I really like the leggings here. These leggings come from normal old deer as, uh, as the plate set, and then the sword again is the Notorious Gladiator's Greatsword. The helmet here comes from Burning, sorry, uh, Mists of Pandaria five-man dungeons, and this is the, uh, plate DPS version, since it's the light white and, uh, and brown one. And, uh, the chest piece comes from, I, uh, that can come from, like, three different places in, uh, in in Wrath of the Lich King. I like this a lot. Yeah, I, I actually think this is a really well put together set. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this or no? Yeah, you know, Mogu? Yeah, I don't know about the Mogu thing or anything like that, but I think it's very, very good. Uh, thank you? Yeah, of course, man. Uh, I think this is actually, this is decent. He really is the faceless one. It looks good, okay, man? It definitely looks good. Vineyard, the, the Fearless, from the guild Straw Hat Crew. Fenrir. Hmm. I, Gammon, will save us. I don't know, man. Like, what do you guys think about this? I mean, this is the helmet right there from the, so the chest piece is, I think, one of the chest pieces from BFA. I love the adventures, okay? And then the helmet is the shadow pen helmet. The tabard is the uh, tabard of the duelist. The uh, leggings there are the new leggings from uh, BFA as well. These boots here are from somewhere in Cataclysm. I used them for my uh, set in, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Tusk of Manor off. I don't know, guys. It's just... It's it's okay. Like as an adventurer set, I mean, he's got his pickaxe and his uh, his torch here. I think that's cool. And he's got his backpack as well. Uh, what do you guys think? Move the, get the shit out of the way. Need something? Zach Rar, get it out of the way, Fenrir. I don't want to see this. Yeah, it doesn't even look like me at all. Listen, man. What the hell are you doing? I think this is an okay looking set. Okay. Like, it's not amazing, it's not great, it's just an okay-looking set. Fenrir, this is decent. But I think that we're going to have to expect to see something a little bit better than decent. Fenrir. It's original, at least. I can say that it's original. Let's go to the next one. Wow. Wow. Hello, Asman. All right, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain what's going on. Okay, so this set right here. I am an ambassador from the distant lands of Chile. Okay. I'm sorry to say this, Faradonir, but this is probably one of the worst sets. I have an important message for my Ragnaros people. All right, hit us, hit us with it. Let's hear the message. Zul Pal I don't know what that is. So this guy is from Ragnaros. This is the best Ragnaros has to offer. So you guys thought uh you thought I saw it couldn't be worse. See, this is why nobody plays with this people from this server, man. Like I'm sorry. This is one of the worst I sets. At least I have this. What do you have? Save us. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're real fucking cute, aren't you? Yeah, you're real fucking cute, Faradon here. Yeah, see, this is what they do to me, man, is they try to get on these different sets to make fun of me. This is fucking ridiculous. 
Okay, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the next one. Mount is something he doesn't have. Yeah, I can get on ten different mounts that you don't have, Farad down here. This is big fan. Thank you very much, man. Look at your pet. Okay, what's your pet? I swear, if this says Asmon Bald, I'm gonna be mad. Maldo. All right, I'm gonna take a drink here. Just give me a second, guys. This is crazy. Thank God. Thank God we at least have one badass set. I love this set. I really, really, really like this set. So those shoulders and the uh, the shoulders and the legs there. This must be a DK then, right? Yeah, this is a DK. So that helmet right there drops from Ten Man Freya and Oldwar. The gloves and the boots there drop from uh, Nighthold. That's one of the Warrior offset. The belt there comes from Throne of Thunder. That's the DK uh, belt for Throne of Thunder. This weapon here is from, uh, I think that's a Warlords of Draenor PVP weapon, right? Uh, Deep Throat's forearm. No, depth uh, depth root, not Deep Throat. Jesus Christ. Um, deep uh, Depth Root. I think that's a boss in the Everbloom, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I really, really, really like this. I think this is an amazing, very good looking set, guys. What do you think about it? Uh, I want to ask you guys. I think this is really, really nice. I like this set a lot. It's very well put together. I think the combination of the helmet and the shoulders fits together very, very well. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, Arctic Force. Finally, we have a good-looking set. I really, really like this a lot. Toxic Bolvar? Yeah, this is Toxic Bolvar. This is Bolvar if he played League instead of WoW. This is great. Good fucking job, Arctic Force. I like it a lot. Lumaka, the Elite Paladin. I'm gonna go with orange is the new purple. <laughs> Actually true. <laughs> okay. So the, hel the let's see. So the uh, the gloves and the boots there are from the Lightforge Drain Eye Heritage Armor set. Uh, the chest piece there is from Mythic. Uh, what's that? is that Mythic? It could be Mythic. I think it's Mythic. Uh, that's the set from uh, what do you call it? Uh, Emerald Nightmare, not Emerald Nightmare. Fuck Eternal Palace. And uh, what's this weapon here? Prompt Paladin Artifact Appearance. Her that's for your honor levels. If you have to get a certain prestige level to get that one. Okay, yeah, you need a prestige level for that. Yep, and, uh, all right, let's see, uh, what I don't like about this, yeah, 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 we get it, man. We get it, with the belt, the waste of time, I, I feel like the shoulders don't really work, man. Like, you got the shoulders from Freehold, what do you guys think about the shoulders? I, I feel like they're kind of like, eh, you know, like, they don't really fit that well, what do you guys think? That's garbage. It's Fucking. garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. Uh, uh, yeah, it could be better. Light forward shoulders are huge. Well, maybe you should have gone with those instead. Uh, I feel like that shoulder just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. What is this? Ephelia the Hollowed. The helmet right there is obviously from the, uh, what's that? The Dark Moon Fair thing. And uh, it's from the boss, the new boss, the Dark Metal Knight or Black Metal Knight, whatever the fuck he was. And then, yes, I know that. So you oh, have. This what? is good. You think this is good? Dude, I like this. Why? Well, it's 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 neat. I mean, the green doesn't match in the shoulders so the, to the axe, but still, I still think it's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Okay, so you've got the Throne of Thunder chest piece and the legs for DKs. You've got the gloves and the boots, which are from the Mythic Throne of Thunder, Heroic Throne of Thunder uh, Warrior set. You've got the belt and the shoulders there, which come from Heroic uh, Deathwing. And... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, and then the axe, that's the Arcanite Reaper axe. It's like the hidden artifact appearance for arms warriors. Uh, I don't know, guys. Like, I think it's okay. I I'm not, like, overly impressed by it, but I think that it's okay. Like, here's the thing, right? This is an NA transmog competition. So you guys have to keep in mind that those standards are a lot lower with this. And because of that, obviously, we're not going to be expecting a whole lot. Okay, this guy did pretty good. But uh, for the most part, he did pretty good. A Genethus. Hey, come closer. Okay. So I've submitted this set enough times, I think it's time to be commemorated. I just want to have the artist draw me saluting with this pose. Okay. 
All right, well, we'll see if chat's going to vote for you. Yeah, this is the Aquaman transmog. Thanks. Uh, I don't know if this is going to make it into the top five, man. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to make it into the top five. I'm sorry to say. Uh, we'll see. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. <gasps> Dude! You know who that guy is? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, no. He's Yo. not going to win, man. Do you know who this guy is, I do. though? I do. This, this man has a deep, deep history on this stream. He does. Way back. He does. He's added a parent. A Pepe and a backpack. So I can carry all your tears. Guys. He's not gonna fucking win. He's been coming to our competitions. For fucking four How years. Many years. Four God, years. He's been really? coming to our four years. He's been coming to our competitions and he has four? never won. Come on. Just once, man. Dicks out for please. Dicks out. Dicks out. Dicks out. Oh my out. god, dude. Dicks no, out. it's Dicks not gonna Okay, out. all right. This is so fucking ridiculous. It, we're not going to let him win. Nobody's winning unless they deserve the win, okay, guys? Keep that in mind. Nobody's winning unless they deserve the win. Yeah, he's not going to fucking win. Zoe Jenkins from the guild Carnal Redemption. Top heavy. But not in a good way. Yep. Zoe. This sword right here doesn't make any sense. Your themes are completely different. You have some, you know, very, very well crafted, you know, dragon plate gear with like your shoulders and your helmet. And then you have that weird Pandaria double dick belt that you've got going on. And then there's stupid ass leggings that it looks like you bought them from some hipster store downtown. Your weapon right there is the Kel'Thuzad's Blade of Agony or whatever the fuck it is from Lich King. You think that's going to make any goddamn sense? No, it doesn't. This is dog shit. Zoe. This is cock-ass dog shit. And fuck you. And fuck you. It actually looks really good with the mount. Come in here in a trans mount competition, and you might actually get a placing. But not with that. Oh. This guy? This yeah. guy stops you? He stops your cart? Uh -huh. When you're on the way to the market? Yeah. And he steals all your grain? Dark lore. This is actually not terrible. Okay? I want to say that. This is actually not terrible. Now, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. A student has bigger titties than a teacher? The fuck are you talking about? Like, uh, what do you mean? Like, we're both dudes. Uh, I, I don't even get that. What the fuck do you mean? What does that have to do with anything? Dark lore. This is a decent... Like, this is... This is so fucking... This is my NA transmog? Guys. I really don't think it's that bad. I, you I don't, don't think, think it's, that, it's bad. that bad? That one right there? No. This one? I, oh, this I one's like... actually pretty good. Yeah, this is a pretty good looking set. I like it. Yeah, I, I think like the swords it. look pretty good. Um, overall, I think this is a good bandit transmog. Yes, I actually do like this. It's a decent looking set. Yes, this is decent enough. All right. Uh, I want to go ahead and check the pet. What's this fucking pet? <laughs> Asmon Snot. Okay, yeah, you're real fucking funny, Dark Lord. Listen, man. I, this is an okay-looking, decent bandit transmog. I actually might give this one a placing. Now, gentlemen, as promised, I will pick out my top five, and then I will give you, the viewers, the opportunity to pick the number one who we're going to get artwork commissioned for. All right, gentlemen. Viewers, get ready. Tell me what you guys like. Tell me what you don't like. Bromford, you changed your set. 
Bromford. Oh, look at that dude's title. Yes. <sighs> Tell me what you guys like. Tell me what you don't like. Uh, I'm not sure really how I feel about a lot of these sets. Wait, what? Was that Dak Crit Cray? Yep. Where's he's he been? back? I know, he's back. He's been in here with that set before, too. But it's okay. Uh, it was like over a year ago. So it's fine. I don't know who, like, uh, there's a lot of... Wait, go... Hold on, go back. Let me see that blue one. That blue paladin. It's nothing special, man. It's just a... It's the Antorus Mythic chess piece uh, for DKs. With like some of the uh, the Tomb of Sargeras set with like the cruel gladiator set. Yeah, I like it, but I don't uh, think it's that special. Yeah, it's not that special. Well, let's go around here. Change my shoulders. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Oh, Tiger Panda! All right. I'm deciding on what's gonna be our what's gonna be our winners and what's gonna be our losers. I just, I can't find a first place, man. Was okay. that a real corrupted? Yes. Nice. Imagine wasting on such a bad set, though. I'm sure. I'm deciding. Riptack is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. All right, I will decide my top five in just a second. Okay. All righty, I'm thinking, I'm deciding. Okay. All right. I have decided who our top five is going to be. Fifth place. Fifth place is going to go. Fifth place is going to go to Arctic Force. I really like this set a lot. I think everything about it comes together very well, and I think he absolutely deserves a placing for having such a cool looking badass transmog, okay? This is a really, really nice looking set. Fifth place. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. I think it looks really good. Like, what do you mean? What What's wrong? What, why are the question marks? Shut the fuck up. Okay? Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, people either think it's too low or too high, all right? That means that I made the right decision. Good job, Arctic Force. You're getting fifth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. I don't want to hear any more of your shit, okay, guys? Fourth place. Fifth place is absolutely fine. Fourth place is going to be High Lord Crides from the Guild Frozen Prophets. What? Wait, you don't like this one? It's a goofy one. You don't like this? I think this is actually really good. Yeah, I mean it's okay. It's just goofy. I mean, look at him. <laughs> look at him. That's just because he's dancing. It's not because it's actually goofy. He's just dancing. All right, all right. All right. Do your fucking competition. Yeah, this is really, really good. I, I like this set a lot. I feel like this is a very good combination. The two colors are reinforced throughout the entire set. Uh, all of the pieces fit very well together. Using the chess piece there is a unique thing that we have never seen in the transmog competition before. And he absolutely deserves fourth place. This is a great looking set. Anybody who disagrees is fucking wrong, okay? This is a great looking, amazing set. I like it a lot. Good job, Krites. Great job. I'm proud of you. Give him a square there. This is. Alright. Third place. Third place. We're gonna get third place. What the hell are you clowns doing? Third place is going to go. To Riptack from the Guild Indestructible. Nice! Riptack, I like this set a lot. I think that it's extremely clean and very well put together. And I think that you absolutely deserve 
third place for it. Not first. It's very, I didn't really know what first place was. I, usually I'm very sure on my first placings, but uh, this time I'm really not. So Rip Tack, you, I'll give you the skull icon because that matches with your helmet. You are our third place. I like this set a lot. It's very clean, it's very basic, and it's very good. Everything about it fits very well together, and I like it a lot. Good job, Rip Tech. Great job. I like how he did the tavern in the Yeah, mask. the eyes, it's really good. Second place. Second place. Someone that I think a lot of us have seen before. I think many people really enjoy and appreciate. This is a person who's brought a lot to the stream. And has been <gasps> a good person. Oh! And I think we're going to give it. Yes! His transmog does look fucking amazing. And I want to go ahead and give him a certain level of acknowledgement. We are going to give second place to Dragon Slayer Elrius from the Guild Red Stag. This is an incredibly looking, very well put together transmog. Objectively, this is a very good set. I like this set a lot. And we are going to give the transmog win to him. Or not win, but second place to him. I like it a lot. Good fucking job. It's not rigged. It is not rigged. This is whoa, just simply... Whoa, whoa, wait. This guy... Wait, hold on. This is the guy that made the quest line. Yep, he did. And you're giving him second place? Yeah, because I think he deserves it. I think this is a very well put together Deathwing transmog. Everything about it is oh. reinforced and it looks good. He's got the dragon shoulders. He's got the dragon tabard. He's got the mace that looks like Deathwing in his human form. Everything about this fits together perfectly. There are Dude. multiple pieces of gear that all fit together and make sense together. Even the uh, chest piece here. Get this fucking out of here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, every Everything about it looks very good. Everybody who's everybody who disagrees with me is wrong. Okay, you guys are fucking what? wrong. What? You guys are wrong. Like, dude, this is horseshit. How is it? No, it's not horseshit. It's not horseshit. Okay, man. Like, listen, he's not even top five. Yes, he is. This is a nice looking, good set. Okay, Asmon. Yes. You know what's funny? What's funny? Even in an American transmog comp. Yes. A European got second place. Jesus Christ, I told you not to do it. I told you not to do it. I said, don't do it. So I say this is horse shit, and you said, "Oh, I love it. I think it's awesome." Oh okay. my god! Listen, nice. You gave it to is... a fucking European, dude. This guy's fucking. Oh my god! Now dude. they're spamming EU easy in chat because of you. It's not because of me. It's because of them. EU pog DNA sucks. <laughs> All right, first place. First place. First place, guys. Oh, come on. Please, please. You know who it should be. I know who it should be. We all know who it should be. Come on. Just for the sake You're of right. posterity, man. It's been a while. Please. Listen. It's been here for a long time worked very hard and you know what he's been in my guild for quite a while he's helped me on a number of raids and I've known him for years which is why we're gonna give the win to Dak Crick Cray from the guild indestructible no yep what it's your typical Purple and gold transmog. Yeah. I mean, what? What do you mean? What? It's so typical. How is it? Per how is it typical? Everything about this is unique. I've never seen this before, except for the other time that he used it. How is this fucking typical? This looks okay. great. Now we riot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boys, what did I do? Boys, no. tear the chat up. No. Fuck the chat. Tear it up. Oh, guys, listen, listen. It's gonna get. If you guys do that too much, it's gonna overheat my computer. Like, you guys can't do this. Okay, listen. Who do you think should have won? Who do you think should have won? 
No wife, no life. Really? I love it, dude. Ah, uh, it was so it was so average, man. It was just I so loved average. It. Oh yeah, you loved it. Listen, dude, I'm just get the fuck out of the way, guys. Now, as I promised. What? If, if the chat wants to usurp my decision, they now have the privilege to do so. Because the what? person who the chat decides wins will get their artwork commissioned by me to be drawn in our first transmog competition with this Yo! included. And I pay for it. I do everything all myself. I will, I will get with you and figure it out afterwards. So let's go up to the top. Let's take our top five. We're going up to the top. All right. I will make a poll right now and allow the four of you, five of you, to be decided. Okay. This is completely up to chat. Whichever one chat decides is the best, we'll have the artwork commissioned of them. Gentlemen, these five are the final contestants, and it is now in your hands to decide which one of them is the winner. Here you go. You must vote. You must you vote. You have to vote. You are legally obligated to vote. You are legally obligated to vote. Let's see where we're at. Scarret, please move out of the way. Holy shit, man. Can you... Dark Lord, can you move? Like, can you move? I want, I'm trying to do this the right way. Okay, let's see what we've got here. No, this is not... Don't vote. Wait. No vote until Tiger Panda. No, that's not how it works, guys. That's not how it fucking works. I don't want to hear any of this shit. Any of this, uh, this bullshit that you guys are trying to do. Okay, it's absolutely ridiculous, and it's not going to happen. This is not a paid winner. This is a completely fair and ethical and right set, okay? So now, let's go ahead. We're going to pull up and see what our winner is. Rip tack. Rip tack is our winner. There it is. I, I like that. I can see why. I can absolutely see why. Wait. So 28% of people voted on Elrius, but everybody in chat was was roasting me for picking Elrius. Oh. Bro, what? this is fucking bullshit. No, I, I think these guys are they're I, I'm getting roasted for this shit. Alright, there. Let, let's see. So Riptack, it does look like Riptack is going to win. Riptack. Today. Thank he says thank you, chat. Get out of the fucking way, you annoying motherfucker, please. Riptack. Today is a momentous occasion. Today is the day that you rise above all others. And because of the chat and by the chat, they have decided to make you the chosen one. You, Anna A. Pog, e. Pog. Phil, I faked like I was in EU with the skull for votes. Wait, I faked <gasps> That's like That's true! Wait, what? He, dude, he faked like yes. he was in the EU for the skull for votes? Yeah, well, you know dude, what? Yes, That's what they fucking did. get! <laughs> That's what they fucking get! No, I don't even feel bad because I saw all your viewers in EU. Yo, that's oh 15 my god, head. dude. 15 head? Jesus. 15 head, dude. God damn. You guys got outplayed, outmaneuvered, man. A double agent. So the fake EU beat the real EU. God damn. That's the way it goes. Let's hear it for the stars and bars. You're goddamn right. Let me go ahead and message him. Uh, can you, uh, can you message me on Discord? Uh, what's your, what's your Discord? Uh, so, these guys right here, I, I'm obviously Riptack. We're going to figure it out in uh, just a little bit. I'll, I'll do it off stream, obviously, and uh, that way I can do that. And uh, I'll figure out which one is you, okay? So, listen. 
I, I know that some of you may have disagreed with some of my decisions. I want you to understand that this was a very, very tough decision for me to make. Many of the transmog competitions I'm extremely certain about, and I always know what the right decision is. But this time around, I didn't exactly know and uh, what the right thing was. Um, okay. Uh, just a second. That's good, dude. Uh, okay. So again, just so you guys understand how this works. Now that this guy has won... I will now have artwork commissioned of his character, and we will post it on Twitter, and uh, we will put him in the Hall of Fame of Transmog Competition Champions. Rip Tech, congratulations. Let's have a round of applause right now for Rip Tech. How are you, buddy? You did your best. You tried your hardest. You're a good boy. I understand chat. Chat has been debated. Or, sorry, they've been debated and debated. Rip Tech has finessed the Europeans. And I can't think of any greater privilege of an American to do to, to finesse and manipulate the Europeans out of something that should rightfully be theirs. Congratulations. Oh no. What? They're tearing up your Reddit, dude. Two threads just got made. What do you mean? They're pissed. Wait. Did Tiger Panda, our god, get cucked by Ash Man because <laughs> he's a bitch? Dude, look at the fucking tag. <laughs> yes, justice for Panda. Wait, what the fuck, man? Like, yes, Yo. from chat for Panda. Panda should have won no competition. LMAO, get fucked, nerds. Asmon, bitch. I... This is what I get for doing an NA transmog, man. Like, the moment I do, like, EU transmogs were like, oh, yes, you know, good, you know, good sport. Yeah, this is good. And now, wait, what the hell is... I thought Asmongold respected democracy. Hashtag not my streamer. This is a republic, not a democracy. I'll have you know. So, you know what? It doesn't fucking matter. Now, I'm the fucking tiger panda. God damn it. No, not another one. Oh, my fucking God, man.